Hello and welcome back finally to a epic series of well what can I say steam log and let me say right now that please join me on an epic journey back through time because I forgot to record an intro <laughs> So, you will recognize this scene, you will recognize everything around me as, uh, as you reach the end of this uh, special. So, without further ado, let's travel back in time. I'll see you guys in a little while. Okay, so we're back over here at the, um, uh, the jungle temple. Sorry, my brain is still running like really really slowly um yep so we're back over here and i thought maybe it's a time to tear this down because this is actually quite far away i calculated um it from my uh, original base and it was like it was a good thousand two thousand blocks away i'm like whoa did not think it was that actually that far so yeah I'm definitely not going to come back over here again. Like, after I take all the mossy cobble away, that that's it. This place is abandoned thoroughly. I mean, I'm, I'm probably going to take the dispensers as well, but ob obviously the most important is these three blocks right here, because these are, like, the rarest blocks now. So, oh, and, oh yeah, and sticky pistons too. That's all good. And then tripwire hooks, we've got some redstone. It's all good. It's all good. So we're just gonna tear this place down. I can finally understand why the people on other servers have so much mossy cobble. Because I thought, surely they've not been raiding that many, you know, um, mo mob dun uh, dungeons and stuff. Like, and then, and then it hit me. This place was made of mossy cobble. Like. They, they they don't have to go to a mob uh, mob spawn. They can just take it from here. I mean, this this place is already clocking up to a stack, and I've uh, I've already taken like a corner of it. So mm. let's see. This place is actually quite quite good to like build. So I might replicate this in the uh, jungle, but obviously not with the precious uh, mossy cobble. I might, use, I might use the mossy cobble for some like fences and stuff. Hmm. I don't know because uh, they look quite good with uh, with uh, with some leaves or something like backlighting on them. Uh, and if you guys think I, my voice is slightly off, I'm actually still quite ill at the moment. Um, I actually just I couldn't get to bed again because uh, I've got uh, I've got a bit of fever, so I decided why not just do a bit of Minecraft for now. You know, it always cheers me up. So, yeah, and I thought, it has, it's uh, improved my mood tremendously. And obviously I uh, get to do a bit of work whilst, uh, whilst I enjoy myself. And then just catch up with you guys. <laughs> obviously, you know, obviously you're not physically here, but, you know. But honestly, for people who are... Uh, just starting out with the whole uh, exercise thing, guys. Don't don't go overboard. I went overboard, and then look at me. I'm a broken man. <laughs> right, I'm gonna try and get to the top because um, obviously the the top is. Where am I going? My train of thought is just everywhere. Yeah, you, you see these uh, pillars on top. They've they've got mossy cobble as well. Oh god, bit of a uh, bit of mucus in my mouth. Obviously, they've got mossy cobble at the top, so and once you take out the bottom, you won't be able to reach it unless you pillar up. So I'm gonna tear this whole thing down. Actually, my pickaxes uh, will withstand it. I think. Yeah, we've got another 500 blocks. This, this place is not made up of 500 blocks, definitely. So we'll tear this whole place down. I mean. No way you could really get a Mrs. Temple here, so. Goodbye, Temple. Also, I, uh, on, on the way here, I, I was looking through the jungle and stuff to uh, double check if I missed any temples and stuff, but 
Apparently not. So, on large biomes, only a couple of uh, jungles generate in a biome. That's actually quite surprising. I thought more would generate because of uh, the large biomes, but it doesn't look like it. Let's see. Get this down. Come on. There's no hiding. No, oh, there's actually stairs too. That's weird. Don't think they use stairs to build something like this. Oh well. He learns me new every day. Wow, this is actually yielding so much mossy cobble. I'll be able to retire and build a little chateau in the <laughs> build a little chateau out in the desert. <laughs> off mossy cobble off mossy cobble. Alright. <laughs> if you say so, Klaus, you know, you're half delirious, like, drugged up, I don't know, fever, ah, I don't, I don't know where I'm going with this fault train. Someone complete that for me, all the elements are there. <laughs> Let's see, get this, uh, you know what, this is turning out to be quite boring, so I'll see you guys over when we're doing something a bit more interesting. So, I'll finish up uh, collecting all the mossy cobble here, and then we'll see you guys when we uh, go... Oh yes, there's a little surprise I wanted to do, because um, I recently set up a... Actually, I'll talk about it now whilst I, whilst I get all this mossy cobble. I set up a uh, donations link recently, because um, I wanted to get a better editing software for my YouTube channel. You know, when I'm recording, I can directly... And I decided it's no longer that important. I mean, the the donation link is still up there, but you know, you don't have to. It's no long longer a priority, you know, to get it, the software. I mean, I'm working quite well with Audacity and QuickTime, so I'm just gonna stick with that. So I'll see you guys in a little while, and then we'll uh, talk a bit more and build a bit more and do some other stuff. I'll see you guys in a little while. All right, so we're back over at the main, well, what we're calling the main base at the moment. So I haven't started building the thing I was talking about back at the jungle place, but uh, we are going to go rip down the jungle temple because we'll need some materials for that. And I'll explain to you guys what I'm thinking of building. Basically, it's like a dedication to the people watching and maybe the people donating. I'm trying to get rid of the cactus and stuff in the desert. Uh, yeah, so... Hmm. I don't know if I should get rid of all of it. Because it does help fighting against mobs. So. I remember, if, if memory serves, there should be one on this side. And then there's a village and then there should be another one. So... Oh, I didn't bring enough food. This could be risky. But oh well. I mean, what's life about a bit of risk? <laughs> ah, That's probably never been said before. Let's see. Alright, we'll start tearing it down from the top of these. This one's mostly like, submer like submerged in the sand, so... I guess it won't be too hard to dig out. Hopefully, anyway. There's a lot of steps in here, so... The thing I wanted to build is, basically, people who know about my previous sand world before I unfortunately lost it, will know that my first house was a replicating unit. It was a 3 by No, it was a 5 by 5 house that I had that was just basically like a utilities room to me but that thing was okay I'm so sorry I sorry I paused for a second because I thought I heard something outside the room but it turns out just to be the music that I'm hearing so yeah basically I loved that utilities room because it was so easily sorted so now that we've lost the world I might as well do a tribute to that and like the people who donate at the same time because I know a lot of people who have donating links and by the way there's a link in the description that you can donate to and there should you should be able to leave a message and if you don't want your name to be read out as I 
do like a little room for you uh, then just tell me so and I'll leave another alias for you so you know you can you will know that I've uh, done something for you let's see I've took down this tower take this down I was surprised how many uh, as I was taking down the uh, jungle temple how many materials go into building one of these because I have I when I finished I had about five stacks of mossy cobble I was like that's way more than you get like anywhere because I always thought people got mossy cobble from uh, junk like you know the um, underground uh, mob spawners and then I realized after you know I found the jungle temple yes people did get it from the mob spawners but now that the jungle temples have come out they're filled like a treasure trove of mossy cobble they are no longer as rare so yeah I mean if I truly wanted to I could just basically take a flint and steel to a jungle and just basically burn it to the ground for jungle temples but I won't because that's naturally ruining the landscape and of course all the carbon <laughs> dioxide and monoxide you're releasing into the environment global warming and all that it affects the minecraft world too <laughs> uh, I am talking absolute gibberish anyway I think I will uh, basically that's what I'm gonna do that's kind of why I'm collecting all this sandstone around here so I'll leave you guys here and I will see you when we start building the little replicating units as of yet i don't have any people you know donating but i will put up an example one and then i'll take down the sign i will also tell you what you can customize in the room and stuff like that so you know but that will be when we do the little what the that's weird never seen that one before hmm Oh well, so I'll see you guys over when we're building the little replicating unit. This is going to be a long, I need some more pickaxes too. Yeah, this is going to be a, a long, long dig. Because this is much bigger than the, actually, it's not really bigger than the jungle temple, it's just the base is a lot wider, I guess. Alright, I'll see you guys when I've uh, torn down the second temple. I may do it in a... Uh, I may fast forward the second one as I may need to talk to you guys. You know, I like talking to you guys because you don't criticize me. <laughs> I'm only joking. Well, of course, everyone's a critic, but oh well. See you guys in a little while. Alright, so now that we're back over here near the thing, um, near our. Wait, this thing utilities room anyway we're back over here and I honestly I will honest I will admit now that tearing down the two sand temples took longer than expected and it was crazy I couldn't even I had to sorry about that um, I had to uh, basically I had to tear this floor down and add another chest and if you can hear them it's the the never portal and I had to add like an extra room to it because uh, zombie pigmen were getting through and I was accidentally killing them and stuff like that so and creepers obviously were flying through and catching me unaware on the other side now I've done a lot of work recently and I'm gonna quickly make it to bed and if you notice there is something on the side of my screen and that is a 1.4 snapshot the scoreboard basically I, I forgot which snapshot it was it's basically a scoreboard feature and I didn't actually cheat on this one I gave it to, I gave the map to a friend and told him to do it for me because I didn't know how to do it uh, I'm gonna take you up and put you over here come on come here buddy all right sit you down okay and basically uh, what I wanted to build currently at the moment I was speaking about it before uh, is this it? No, this is it. There we go. Sandstone, sandstone, sand. S uh, smooth sandstone. Where's the sandstone? Let's see. Sandstone, sandstone. Alright. So, 
I'm gonna let's see. I'll make this. Make some slabs. I only want to stack, so I'm gonna yeah, that'll do. And then do this. Alright, so I've got some chiseled sandstone and we've got some normal regular sandstone. So we're gonna build out here the thing I wanted to build. And for oh, what's this lighting error? For people uh, for you know, if you've watched this all the way through, I'm currently still in uh, one point like one of the snapshots and I will be doing this whole video in the snapshot. This is obviously my sand quarry and it's going well. Yep. Uh, yep, up here I have built the first part of what I wanted. Uh, let's do cinematic. Uh, first part of what I wanted to build. It is a giant cog in the sky. If it doesn't, if it's not too, you know, obvious, it's actually a cog in the sky. And I'm gonna build down here a rough shape of uh, something I wanted to build. I'm gonna take this out. Oh yes, I didn't explain the whole scoreboard thing. I told my friend I wanted the viewers to keep track of how much I died. And I did this, I think I gave the map to him before I built the thing in the sky and I got it back just before I started building it. Boy, did I regret it. It was, I got it back and I was building up there happily and th that's all half slabs. I don't understand why it's so dark though. It's one of the weird, the things that have eluded me, but hopefully when I switch to 1.5, the lighting will switch because that's all half slabs and no mobs will spawn up there. There are no torches up there and it's just dark. It's all just wooden planks too. I had to harvest a lot of trees and not jungle trees, but just like not regular oak trees. So yeah. I can just build this, like a little platform. Long time viewers of mine will remember this structure from my sand world. And this was essentially my first build. Let's see. It's five and it's uh, one, two, three, four. Dang it. Okay. Five. All right. So I'm going to build the pillars out on the side, two, three, four. I'm going to build the pillars on the side out of this chiseled stuff. And, um, I, yes, whilst I'm building this, I'm going to tell you guys. I told my friend that I wanted the viewers to, you know, know how much I was dying whilst I was building. You know, so they, you know, give a sort of reaction to it. And after that, I sort of regretted it. <laughs> Let's see, put this along. Hmm. I don't know if this looks better or not. Because I could just do it this way. With the chiseled sandstone. Hmm. I guess I could. Uh, and instead of doing this, I could do stairs on the side. So basically, what I'm building over there is, because I have a donation link in the description, and I don't know why I keep doing this, but I keep pointing down, because I, I keep I have a habit of pointing. Uh, let's see, use this, that's the sand. Okay, so, got some sand stairs going. Alright, oh, sandstone, where's my chiseled stuff? Okay, so... Uh, there's a d donation link to below and I did push it first to because um I wanted some new software for editing for you guys and I didn't obviously me being in the situation I, I'm in at the moment I don't have the money to do so so yeah hmm. I guess it looks slightly better let's put these top ones on oh okay that that was a mishap let's see Alright, so, I don't know, there's something, there's something slightly off about that. I can't put my hand, my finger on it. But, basically I'm going to build my repeating unit. So, I think, hmm, let's take this down again. Yeah, this looks slightly better. Yeah, I think we'll go with this design. 
like with their stairs. One sec. I'm gonna repeat it on this side. Let's see, I compare the two. Hmm. So it's that shape with the uh, cross in the middle, or it's this shape with the sort of diamond rhombus shape in the middle. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I think this is slightly better. Alright, so I'm going to change this. So for the people who don't know what I'm talking about, I think I'm a complete lunatic, which I am, don't get me wrong. But, um, so I've, the first house I ever built on my first, maybe, first five episodes, it's basically a repeating unit of a house. So it was this, uh, uh, let's see, put this here, this here, this here. Is here. And DC. Oh, okay, okay, that's wrong. And basically, my first house was this repeating sandstone unit, and I did it because I could expand it endlessly, which unfortunately got deleted. Okay, so <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's see. I think the roof will go with this way. I'm guessing this will, yeah, it'll incorporate some of the old design with the new. So this way it will give a bit more room to walk past and, but the thing is, if we have like, uh, I don't know, because we might have chests in here like that, so, mm. or we could do this, because we can join it up now. Ooh, this, uh, this might look good, let me see. Mmm, no, no. Uh, yeah, that does not look right. It's just, it's too narrow, and it, it, there's no distinction that it's kind of a center. Alright, so that, that idea is scrapped. And, yeah. So, this is sort of like an upgrade from my first repeating unit house, which is basically like this. And you could place another unit next to it and it'll look exactly the same except it didn't have fancy pillars. Uh, it didn't have the thing here. So what I'm building here will be the start of my little donation thing as I was mentioning before. Each time, no, not each time you donate. It's, uh, you donate and I will create one of these, uh, for you on my, uh, be immortalized on my, on my world. And it will have a block of your choice on this block. So, it could be anything. It outrageous as it sounds, uh, it could be, uh, probably not lava. I mean, <laughs> lava is just gonna be messy. Although I can get it to work. If, I guess, if it's, if you, that's what you really want, I will get it to work. I promise. Hand on hearts. Uh, no, wrong side. <laughs> I'm a science student, I should know this. But, um, hand on heart, I will uh, try and make it work. So, it's a block of your choice, say, I wanted, uh, a sandstone stair. There, just as an example. And I will put a sign on, and any message you want me to leave. Uh, preferably not something too outrageous, you know, because, uh, I do have some PG, uh, watches. So, that's uh, basically what I wanted to do here. So, I'm going to leave this here on a, as an example. And, of course, I will be leaving a download, descrip uh, download description. A download link for my world after this is all completed. So, well, not all completed. It's basically, I've started this and you can check out this for yourself. I mean, uh, you can leave specific inf uh, things. Like, if you don't like... Actually... No struck of genius. Sorry, I'm getting sidetracked. Oh. Oops, that's not the right way. Okay, there he is. Oh. This looks fancy. Huh. I don't actually know. It makes it look a bit more claustrophobic, I guess. Um, uh, I don't know. Yeah, maybe. I'll decide on that later when I'm uh, when I'm fiddling with this. So basically, this is going to be the unit that you get, and there will be a sign with a message or two signs if it's a very long message. Um, 
and they block up your choice and if you want like something to if you want this room to be built out of something else then leave it in the notes if you want it to uh, have something else then leave it in the note too but obviously sorry about that the door doesn't close in my room properly um obviously not too outrageous you know like build it all out of diamond or something like that i mean i don't have the diamond uh diamond facilities but is that spider hurting itself yeah okay anyway that's basically it so the next thing was uh obviously the counter here hey look i can actually move my mouse the counter here was done through my friend so he did it for me and basically uh, gave it back to me and i just held on to it and said you know the viewers deserve to know how many times i die in this world so you know that's kind of going on it's been six times already i'm not sure about the one thing on top and for you for people who don't know fallen core was my username and once i i guess I'm steady in Minecraft, I'm gonna probably buy another account and have this maybe as a filming account like um, when I do uh, time sh uh, time lapses and stuff yep so there's also the cog up there which I will tell you why I'm building that now whilst I'm sleeping I'll explain to you recently I have been watching a lot of Minecraft videos because no firstly to gauge the uh, competition there isn't any, keep that in mind, there isn't any because I am absolutely poor. Uh, I am very, very bad compared to the rest of them. But my recent, uh, latest person I'm watching is Zisto. I think he's American. Uh, I can't really remember. Anyway, he built a big giant sky lens and I was fascinated by it. And basically I wanted to copy that. Not copy the sky lens, mind. I swear from this moment, I am not gonna copy a sky lens. The only thing that will be the same is that we'll both have designs in the sky. This is the first bit. And I'm gonna have it steampunk themed. So, I will be building structures like this, and I will be building it in the sky. The, the only reason that I haven't built a mob spawner so far is because firstly, I'm not settled, and secondly, I want to build it as a part of my thing so I guess I should this is my temporary house and I'm gonna have some crazy solutions as to how I'm going to get up there because the current way I've seen his is uh, he has an ender ball uh, ender ball ender ball teleporter but that doesn't quite work in 1.5 so therefore I've come up with a new idea and this will play a part in it, you know, giving you guys a bit of a clue. So, uh, let's see. But the other thing was, hmm, let's see. What was I going to do? Oh yes, I did wanted to show off some of the gear I got because. Um, also, there are other things I'm going to be uh, happening that I won't be telling you guys, uh, even, you know. Uh, once I've started building this thing, even after that, I will be, I also have like another secret project that I'll be working on. And basically I wanted to show you guys some tools that I got over the time that I've been digging. So, as we're falling down here, this, uh, not, let me reiterate, not all the deaths from uh, this that uh, you see on screen is from the actual thing. I have died once jumping down here. Basically, I jumped down here and missed the water by a block. And I was like, no! Died. And I was like, oh man, I, I built this thing as a fail safe too. Yeah, that was not helpful. Anyway, this pickaxe that I carry around here, if you notice, it says efficiency 5 on breaking free. The efficiency 5 basically came from a book. And... The strange thing was, I don't remember why I had the lever. <laughs> That's the weird thing. I don't remember why I had the lever, so I, I made books out of it for some reason. The other pickaxe down here is uh, Efficiency 4, Fortune 2. This was an enchanted one, and obviously I repaired it. I did want to get another efficiency book, but I didn't have enough lever to make another book. So, 
I also I died a couple of times with like 20 level 28 experience and yeah also I need to rip this thing out because I need I want it to become like a sorting system hmm so we are going to do something slightly different I think yeah why not I think I will yep yeah, I'll leave you guys here uh, here for a second and I will basically go get some more resources and we we may start building in the sky but at the same time I may just uh, upgrade a modern house here so stay tuned I guess all right so I'll see you guys in a second Okay, so let's see what we're going to get, because uh, I got 30 levels from digging around, and yes, I have a massive collection of diamonds. Yeah, but, um, this Fortune 2 pick has served me well. I'm hoping on getting maybe Fortune 3 on it. Ooh, the world isn't loading. Hmm, guess I should have expected that. Okay, let's see so what we get. Sharpness 3. Oh boy. Well, guess it's uh back to digging for a bit more. Maybe I'll harvest the wheat. I haven't done that in a while. The squid look really funky. Alright, so we'll see you later. Alright, so we've uh, reached a point at which we've uh, done a bit of excavating. And yes, I apparently I'm in a slime chunk somewhere. This is a, a lot of excavating, <laughs> and yeah, I've reached a little problem. Most people, well, have showed you this contraption before before me, and I've reached a slight problem. These are my last stone pickaxes, but at the same time, down here, I have collected enough diamonds to support myself for quite well and back at base I've got uh, got quite a number too come on so I'm not sure if I should start using diamond pickaxes with maybe some enchantment or if I should keep using the stone pickaxes so I'm gonna do a random test basically like a chance so it all goes down to chance this Oh yeah, and this little contraption I'll explain in a minute. Sorry about the lag. It's, uh, okay, so this contraption, if for people who don't know, basically this chest feeds into this chest and this chest feeds into this hop um, dispenser. That's the one. And this dispenser in turn throws a lot of pickaxes at me. Basically, I turn it on and this clock starts going and it's a very very basic clock and it just goes into this dispenser and it refills when I stop it that's why I had to lower it one it's because um, it basically stops the thing working anyway sorry about that I got interrupted and um, basically uh, I get a bunch of pickaxes normally I get about nine and that uh, basically I mine out a, 
a bit and then I come back drop off the resources I actually remodified this one because it wasn't actually working right so I come back I drop off my resources into my temporary quote unquote sto uh, storage system and then I com come up here and pick up some more pickaxes and head out again but as I explained before I have reached a point where I'm stable for diamonds so therefore I can use diamond pickaxes and using this feature of Minecraft which you can normally get I think it's F3 and H you can tell that the durability and the durability on a normal diamond pickaxe is about 1500 that's what maybe 10 12 pickaxes uh, 12 stone pickaxes so in one run I will probably use a completely use a diamond pickaxe but obviously you'll get enchantments like unbreaking and efficiency on them so you can mine faster so the job will be done a lot quicker and unbreaking will be done a lot well the pickaxe will last, last maybe twice as long three times as long something like that okay but anyway I've decided to put this up to luck in here I'm gonna place a diamond pickaxe and a stone pickaxe and I'm gonna stand on top of it I'm gonna collect it and it's gonna come up in my hotkey bar the first one to come up the one next to the slime balls will be the pickaxes I use and then um, I will set some conditions if, if it's the diamond one so we're gonna click it okay we all witnessed this it was a diamond ones but okay I, I was uh, saying conditions and the conditions I wanted was obviously I wanted them to be enchanted so therefore I have to well, get levels to enchant them so I'm gonna uh, keep mining so I'm probably gonna strip down this actually I'm, I will keep it up until I get my uh, diamond pickaxe going so I have my diamond pickaxe supply and then I will uh, I can't use them until I fully enchanted them so maybe I'm breaking like this one I'm breaking free and efficiency five so I'll probably do that for all the pickaxes and then I can use them I mean the pick this pickaxe isn't actually that quick like just um, demonstrate on here wow this uh, this uh, bedrock fog is crazy and don't ask me why there's wolves down here. I have no idea. Oh god, I'm dying. Help me! Come on! I think the bedrock is affecting me. Okay, let's uh, get rid of these. And these torches are all like spaced out evenly, so the OCD people will uh will be having a field day. Okay. So you know, get killing slimes down here will get you a bit of experience. And the uh, Getting the like mining isn't that quick compared to well, I use this one to mine sandstone, and sandstone is a lot easier to mine than regular uh, stone. So yeah, I mean obviously I have diamonds to be able to um, repair it in uh, uh, repair these pickaxes on anvils, so that's an idea too. Um, but yep, I mean this uh, this will be the way forward, I guess. So I'll be I'll be keep doing this and uh, I'll use the stone pickaxes for a while until I can get another enchanted pickaxe uh, or I can get enough levels to repair this one. So that's uh, basically it. Also, this bedrock fog, seriously, really starting to peeve me off. Let's see, will I eat something too? I also uh, I think I'm not sure video settings particles but all got minimal I'm gonna try this because I know this works for rain okay so it doesn't really work for the fog hmm I mean like up here you can see everything down there pretty much everything so up here you can see everything but I'm not gonna eat before I jump down before I can really kill myself but over there, like I jump down here, that's it. That's as far as you can see. Even like stood next to the lights, even though stood next to the torches. Sorry, can't really see anything. Hmm. Do you guys know a solution? Please, uh, like give me a bell. I think natural light from the um, 
surface will help, but I don't want to open this up. Because, uh, well, I want this to be a mine, so it has to be on the ground and stuff. But anyway, as I was saying before, I'm going to show you this contraption. This contraption is basically the hopper contraption. And I wanted to smell a lot of smooth stone. So this is all this cobblestone, there's a stack of iron in here. Nothing's flowing through at the moment because uh, it's being smelted. And on this side I've got loads of coal. And it's just feeding into the on the side. That feeding coal in. And the stone is going through here. And you collect it down here. The only downside to this is no experience. And this will probably be how I set up my, uh, well, my permanent home. It'll be a furnished room filled, something like this, but obviously a bit prettier. And uh, possibly with other changes. But yeah, that's all to, you know, all to come. So yep, yeah, this is just the basically the basic uh, furnace room because here this looks really bad. So I'm gonna t um, when I get down to it, I'm gonna tear all of this out. There's a slide here somewhere. But I can't see it. I'll come back here where the light is. There it is. See, you you come over here and you can't see that slime over there. But then you walk around it, you get to the light, you can see the slime ridiculous anyway I'm thinking about tearing up all this dirt and cobblestone I put down and replacing it with smooth stone so down here it'll be a pattern of bedrock and smooth stone great idea right I might actually do it like smooth stone half slabs if that looks better but uh, yeah I mean I want to make my mines look pretty and obviously uh, with a cavern of this size it's I need to put some struts in it's getting dangerous I'm going to start having cave-ins and stuff, so yeah. Well, uh, I'll see you guys, let's, uh, yeah, let's go do something interesting. Or not, because I'm not that an interesting person. But anyway, let's uh, join the story at another place. Alright, so we're back on the surface and we're visited by an end. Nice, thanks. I've just watched you place that. Take it back. Really? Anyway, um, we're up on the surface and we've got 30 levels, so we're going to do another enchantment. Great. I really dislike these pattern, these bow enchantments. Anyway, uh, we're going to store this in here. And as you can see, I have gone down in diamonds quite a bit. And I say quite a bit, maybe two, maybe six. So, yeah, this pickaxe is starting to quite literally not to put it too crudely break my balls <laughs> yeah so basically i've i decided what maybe four minutes ago that i was gonna do the diamond pickaxe trick yeah that hasn't really worked i've used it for a while mm, hasn't really saved it saved me time yes but hasn't really saved me on resources the diamonds aren't coming in as as often as i'd like them to so each time I have to repair, hasn't really done it. So I'm also trying to fix this lighting error. Um, keeping in mind, we are still in the snapshot that we started out this video in. So basically, that won't be fixed until 1.5. Although I did load in 1.5, and this doesn't seem to work. So it's just a dark cog. Yeah. What the? Really? You can probably tell this is not 1.5 since uh, the skeletons aren't li quite literally killing me from like, what, 30 yards away? Yeah. Anyway, um, today we are, well, to I say today, but obviously it's another recording time for me. And basically, I wanted to do something in the sky. And, well, firstly, I guess we'll start take taking in some... Uh, some stuff because I wanted to build the top layer out of sandstone but I don't really have enough sand to make out of sandstone so I've decided since I've got all this iron I'm gonna tr 
Is it just me or can anyone else hear zombie noises? I don't hear it. There's zombie noises somewhere around here. It's probably because of this cog. It's uh, really blocking out the sun around here. So there could be a mob just stood here in the middle of the des desert. And I wouldn't know. Hmm. Anyway, that's really gotta go. Anyway, I'm thinking about making... Well, I mentioned earlier in this video that I was watching a new Minecracker. And, well, it sounds like a drug take, to be perfectly honest. But, yep, I'm going to be making... Basically, uh, I want to copy Zisto's building technique. He basically, first he used... Uh, let's see, what did he use? He used leaves to... Oh no, this is the... Huh, I don't know, does it? Yeah, I think each one takes two. Dang it! Yeah, he used leaves to create like the scaffolding and stuff for his build. So I'm going to take it a bit further and pretty much just make most of the um, building area. Sorry, it's going to be a bit loud. Most of the building area out of leaves because no mobs spawn on the leaves, uh, as perfectly demonstrated by the jungle environment. And ooh, I better not take down all the leaves because otherwise I won't get any uh, saplings from them. Maybe I'll just take down the ones I can reach. Yep, so I'm going to use mostly leaves to build with, and then. I'm going to essentially build around that concept. So anything like uh, anything built on the leaves will have no mobs. I won't need to put down torches. Although with that, be what? See, you can tell from here that that thing is made out of wood now. What? Yeah, I'm really going to need the unbreaking chat on this as well. Yep, we've got an apple up there. I think. So wow, just uh, from a couple of trees, we've got a couple of sacks of leaves. So yeah, we'll be making stuff from leaves, and I had a couple of ideas. I guess I'll share them with you as I'm harvesting this stuff. Basically, for me, um, recently, so recently, I only became a steampunk fan, and uh, people around the world may be rejoicing now, maybe crying in tears. But uh, yeah. So I nicknamed this world Steampunk Topia because I want. Ooh, God, that didn't sound good. Okay, that gets more iron. So basically, I wanted to make stuff steampunk themed, but I don't really know how to make anything steampunk themed. If you know what I mean? It's just kind of cogs, pistons, and well, mostly on Google, skintily clad women. <laughs> And uh, yeah, that's unnerved me quite a bit. But what I thought was I designed a couple of cogs and I enlisted the help of a friend. People, I, well, I say her name, she won't, people won't know who she is. But basically, most most people who watch my uh, what it, mini-sodes will know who she is because she joined in one of the episodes and um, she basically provided some evidence and you heard her voice so she designed a couple of more exquisite cogs for me made out of exotic materials such as emeralds and I think there was there was glass in each one but uh, don't quote me on it okay this is getting weird more and more of that cog is being revealed I suspect it's because I'm working around here now that's quite weird anyway so yep yeah, I've decided I'm going to make cogs and we're going to start off with a primary structure but it won't all be built in this episode it will be built over a series of episodes and it will come along it will come along so obviously it's a it's kind of a that cog in the sky is kind of a taster for it and basically the first one will be I guess we'll build it this episode see how much time we've uh 
we've actually accumulated. And uh, we'll see where we go from there. Let's see if more leaves. All right, so I'll be uh, taking some of this. Uh, well, let's let's uh, not put it too bluntly. I'll be getting in trouble with uh, some some very very enthusiastic tr um, well tree enthusiasts because <laughs> I'm uh, I'm essentially not just cutting down the trees. I'm pretty much stripping them naked too. So. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to get in a lot of trouble for this. So anyway, I'll see you guys in a little while. So with maybe the start of the build, maybe something a bit more interesting. I'll see you guys in a second.